Okay, we're going to look at some vocabulary, which you should have already had in Structural, so I um, encourage you to review the notes from that course. Uh, first, medial versus lateral. Medial toward the midline of the body, lateral towards the outside. Proximal versus distal. Proximal is towards your, your belly button or your navel. Distal is towards the fingertips and toes. Anterior, posterior. Anterior is the front side of your body. Posterior, the backside. Ventral and dorsal, typically used for quadrupeds. Ventral is the anterior or the belly, and dorsal is the back. Think of the dorsal fin. Inferior versus superior. Inferior is below. Superior is above. Ipsilateral um, refers to things on the same side of the body, right hand and right foot. Contralateral, opposite sides of the body, right hand, left foot. And I just want to make one comment on hyperflexion and hyperextension. I tend not to use them. I tend to use just flexion and extension um, because it, sometimes I think that people, when they see the word hyper, they're assuming that's a, a negative emotion that may cause injury. All right, so planes of the human motion. We can separate, when we're looking at motion, we need to separate the body into three planes, X, Y, Z. And our joints tend to move around axes, which are perpendicular to those planes. So the first plane is the sagittal plane. And it's as if you took the sides of the room and squished your body in there. And the only way you could move then is through flexion and extension. Okay, so it's, it's basically a side view. And the axis about which um, our joints move would be the medial lateral axis. And medial lateral just says you take this pole and you insert it from the medial to the lateral side. And so flexion is a reduction in the angle between two bones. So elbow flexion is when your hand comes very close to your glenohumeral joint. And extension is an increase in the angle between two bones. Next plane, frontal or sometimes called the coronal plane. And think of putting a crown on your head. So the frontal plane separates your body um, anterior to post posterior. So it's as if the walls in front of you and behind you come and pin you in. And then the only way you could really move is through AB and adduction. And the axis about which AB and adduction occur is through the anterior posterior axis. So this pole is piercing your body from the anterior and leaving the posterior side. The motions, abduction, is a movement away from the midline. So think about raising your arms up. You can see here this gentleman is raising his arm up into abduction. And adduction moves the, the limb toward the midline. And I like to think of adding ADD, the limb, to the center of the body. AB Abduction, abducting the limb away, adding the limb. Finally, we have the horizontal or the transverse plane. And that is where medial or lateral rotation, sometimes called internal and external rotation, or even pronation and supination. So the frustrating thing in anatomy and then um, likewise into motion analysis and biomechanics is there's a lot of synonyms. And different professions use different words, and so you kind of have to be aware of all of them. So the axis for the horizontal or the transverse plane is a pole going through the midline of your head. It's like you're doing a uh, pirouette, and that so we can rotate. And the motions, medial rotation or internal rotation, the limb ro rotates toward the midline of the body. And lateral rotation or external rotation, the limb rotates towards the lateral side of the body.